what would you say if I said I could replace all of these lines of G-code with just a single line? Well, stick around and I'll tell you how. Welcome to Masso Top Tip. When it comes to getting a plasma to the point of cutting, there are several processes to be gone through. First, you need to probe the material surface to set the torch height. Next, you need to move to the piercing height. Then turn on the plasma, then wait a set time for the plasma to complete the pierce. Finally, we move to the cutting height and we're ready to start cutting. On Masso G3 and Masso Touch, we've introduced the G200 G code. At the start of the file, you add a G200 and in there you put the parameters that will automate the entire process and more. In this example, F defines the probing feed rate, P is the piercing height, D is the piercing delay, C is the cutting height, V is the cutting voltage, A is the anti-dive feed rate, I is the select between ohmic or touch, and S is for stop after piercing. So having defined G200 at the start of the G-code file, I can replace all of the original G-code with a single M3 command. On an M3, the torch will probe down at the rate of 200 millimeters per minute. Retract to the piercing height of 5 millimeters. Turn on the plasma and wait for a delay of 500 milliseconds or half a second. I'll then move to the cutting height of 1.5 millimeters, just like it did in the previous G-code. However, we've got additional parameters. The V parameter is used by the Masso DTHC, and in this example, it would set the cutting voltage to 125 volts. The A parameter will lock the THC Z axis if the feed rate falls below 80%. And for probing, because I've set the I parameter to one, it will use the ohmic sensor. For the touch off but if I set it to zero it'll use the touch switch instead. The last parameter is S and I'll go into this in a bit more detail. When piercing material until the arc cuts all the way through the molten material has nowhere to go but back onto the surface of the stock. On thick material this can leave a build up that the torch can run into when it starts cutting. If you set S to 1, after piercing the torch will turn off and rise to the home position. You can now clean the surface of the material and when you're ready press cycle start to continue. The torch will lower to the cutting height and start the cut. And all that with a single M3 command. G200 has one more trick up its sleeve though. If you're running old plasma G code made before G200 is introduced, you can still use them. Simply add a G200 with no parameters to the start of your existing G-code file or enter G200 in MDI and this will turn the G200 functionality off. M3 will no longer probe, pierce and set cutting height for you. It will simply turn the plasma on. Now how easy is that? If you'd like to see more videos like this one, please click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notification of all new top tip videos. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next Masso Top Tip. Cheers.